Hello and welcome, my name's Necro, and today we're playing Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. So, it's been a little bit of a while since I've recorded a full single series. I'm struggling to find the right game, but, you know, this seems like a good one. I got it on sale. So, away we go. Let's just fill the options quickly. Yep, keep all that. Uh, yeah, that a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Oh, no, we want that on. I'll go for hard. <clears throat> I have some experience, but I mean, I'm not a pro. I like tactical games, though. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. Thinks like mutants, not just any mutants. Stalkers, tight muscles, good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's arc. Where there's arc, there's killing time for schisms and treble. Oh, they're close, 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 close. Over there, come, brother. I'm on there. Nice. Whoa, what the? I'm way over here. Oh, there. Wait. There. Thank you. 
do I switch? Oh, here we go. Another one bites the ducks. Coward! So this is, you know, a glitch or something. I want to zoom in. No, let me check the controls actually quickly. Oh, that is freaking tiny. I, I mean, seriously, why? Why make it like that small? Like I said, this leaves, you know, this to be desired. Camera's pretty good actually. Oh, so. Bulls. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay. Here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water. Go around them.
arcs up ahead. Home sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. Oh, the campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. great, but that's really not what I was hoping for. How do I swap? That sucks.
Ah, no, it's just pathetic. Come on, duck. They look weird leveling up. There we go. Over here. See, now the camera during the real time moment is actually decent, it's just during the game it was a bit buggy. Although hopefully that was just during the tutorial. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted you said nothing. Plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. Who's but he to judge? You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. I would love The Ark is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave. Because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot, and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. 
That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. You know, I would love, love to play a sci-fi game where, you know, the where, you know, the last holdout against the collapse of civilization is not called the frickin' Ark. Like, it's always a frickin' Ark. I mean, I get the symbolism, I'm not, a, I'm not an idiot, but at the same time, I mean, come on, be a bit more original. <laughs> 